Hello everyone, this is Dr. Anand. I am again with the another video and in this video I would be explaining about two important components. One is integer and the other one is string value. So before explaining that, first let's proceed with reading the file. So how should we read the file? We have to go to the node repository which is on the left hand side. You can get to see a collection of different types of nodes and I want only the file reader node. So in the search bar, I'm going to type file. As soon as I type, the file reader node is popping up. I'm using the drag and drop option and I'm posting it into my workflow. So now my workspace has the file reader option. I have to import the data from a particular location. I right click, this dialog box opens and you can see configure. So when I click configure, it is asking me to browse and locate the file from my computer. So I'm selecting the file which I have downloaded, which has already been stored in .csv format. So once after I browse the file, the file is appearing here. I'm now clicking apply and OK. So you can see that there is a change in the signal. My file reader is giving a low signal, which means it is ready to be executed. So how do I execute it now? Again, right click. You can press the execute button or you can also press F7 as a shortcut key. So as soon as I press execute button, my file reader node is exhibiting another signal, which is in green color. So what do you mean by green color? The data has been processed and it is ready to be viewed. How do I read my data? I again right click my file reader node and this dialog box opens and go to the last menu, which is nothing but the file table. So when I click the file table, the data which has been arranged in different rows and columns is being shown. So you can check your data. Now I told you about two important options, which is called the string and integer. So how do you check the string and integer? Right click your file reader node, go to configure and you have to go to transformation setting. So when you go to the transformation setting, you can see column, new name and type and the names of different types of elements, which is pertaining to the column is getting reflected here country region, confirmed cases, death, recovered, active cases, new cases, new death, new recovered, WHO region. And if you see on your right hand side, you can see the different types. The different types has been basically classified into two. One is string and the other one is number, which is nothing but integer. So now what is the difference between string and integer? Is it so important? in the data analysis process. Yes, of course it is very important. And integer is a variable that specifically holds a numerical value. So whereas a string is a variable that holds a range of characters. So that is the basic difference between integer and a string. So if you look into this country region and WHO region, are string data. If you look into the other data, which is pertaining to confirmed cases, death, recovered cases, active cases, new cases, new death, and new recovered cases, it is expressed in the form of numbers. So this is how you have to check the data related to integers and string. So let me meet you with another video explaining about other different types of options which are available with the 9 platform. Thank you.